Welcome back to the X Lounge. Today we have a review on the 40 Willys pickup truck gasser by AMT. It's kit number 1145M12. But first, a word from our sponsor. Dinky D Dog Food. It's good for dogs. And you. Not a real product. Thank you, Dinky D. So this one I've already opened, but it's been so long ago, I don't really remember what it, what's in it. So we will, uh, we will find that out together. Uh, as usual, the folks over at AMT have put on the back of the kit exactly what's in there so that we can look at the store and kind of get an idea. We're going to dig into it. And also, Nope, you know what, that's all one sticker there, but I bet I, if I was careful I could peel that off, cut out the Coca-Cola, put it on my toolbox. As we are wont to do with stickers. So, here's the chrome. There is a, uh, looks like a hunk of wax paper in there to protect one chrome from another chrome. Here we have some slots and under the protective paper is the rest of the chrome tree. So that's what you get there, the bigger, bigger slots. Uh, they're pretty similar, these here chrome slots. They're a little different, but they're both attractive, so I mean, you can certainly use them on any car you wish. Uh, you get an extra set for, for later. Uh, so a lot of chrome uh, engine parts there. Uh, some of the normal stuff, like the, the headlight housings. Uh, the steering wheel's chrome. I guess that's just for the, for the spokes of it. Okay, okay, okay. Next up, we have a bag of some slicks that are redlined. And they also have a very fine uh, raised lettering. It's say Blue Street Dragway Special. Those are actually pretty awesome. And some front wheels. That are they are also marked and those are mm, I don't know what that says general general something two glass options red or clear Here's the, whoa. There's the body, the frame, and all the big parts, it looks like. There's the metal axles. Oh my goodness. All right, so there's the frame. Looks pretty awesome. I don't know what that pin is for. There's the front clip. It is a flip nose. It's already cut out for you in the standard flip nose configuration. It also is a, it's a good way to learn about creating flip noses because this one shows you where to make some good cuts at. And how to do the, uh, the hinges. So, uh, details on this. Uh, I don't know that there's much detail to be gained there. There's a nice looking uh, uh, gutter. Uh, only a little bit of uh, seam to deal with. 
All the push pins are on the inside where they should be. Here we have, uh, I guess that's the, the bed. Uh, there's a fender. Tailgate parts, not a lot of detail there, but I don't know that there's that much detail on the original. The interior tub, it's got some texture to it. Kind of a beadboard looking uh, pattern. So here we have some dragster parts. I forget what they call those. Uh, tow bar, support bar, I don't know. There's the outside of the, the bed. The, uh, the dashboard here is kind of grubby. It's, it's well detailed. It'll clean up fine, but it looks like uh, it's been sitting out in the dust. I think this whole sprue spent uh, spent a week in the factory just sitting out because it's dusty. Other than that, uh, there's the parts that you get, some engine parts. There's a straight axle rig, old timey differential stuff. Firewall, it's also dusty. Did I leave? No, it was in a bag. I just cut it open. Uh, some factory, from some free factory dust. Look at that under a microscope, and you can uh, tell what else they're doing at that factory. Uh, there's some decent detail on the seats there. Uh, not a lot of flash on anything. If that's something that gets you excited, I mean, there's a tiny hair bit there there's a little bit maybe on those parts pretty good pretty good look at that big piece of flash oh my goodness it fell off of something uh, there's the bed cover this is March 2021 this kit according to scale maze goes back to 76 and it's been put out quite a few times I don't know that the truck has been all by itself put out most of the time they put it out with the uh, with the sedan as well so you can build either one I kind of prefer the sedan but uh, I'm going to do the truck this time I don't know what I'm putting on for a bed I don't know if I'm using the bed or maybe I'll make some kind of a garbage truck gasser here's the decals mostly coca-cola stuff they look they look pretty good good coloring to them there's a dashboard uh, with wood grain that's pretty groovy couple coca-cola bottles so that's that which side goes against it there's a flat side and a, and a shiny side okay let's look at the instructions just a one pager here there's your whole engine doesn't say what it is unless it's somewhere in the somewhere else So a lot of times, when I did my my sedan flip nose, I do think I used the factory parts, and this one actually held up okay. Some of them get kind of flimsy. This one held up okay. I actually developed a, a, a different way of doing it involving some piano wire. But if I remember correctly, this one was okay. I didn't need to do that. gives you some colors there the color suggestions okay so that wraps up this one 
Uh, it's another one from AMT that I'm going to like. I certainly appreciate the detail that went into uh, some of this stuff. Apart from a little bit of dust on stuff, it, it ain't no big deal. Um, I'm a really big fan of the Redline Dragster Slicks. Those are awesome. Uh, also, they're, they're, all the tires are packaged separately, so they're not going to uh, lean up against some part and, and create big divots in it. So if you've got one of these and you don't necessarily want to open it up, uh, you don't need to because your tires aren't going to, you don't need to get in there and repackage the tires because they're not going to hurt anything. They're, uh, they're prepackaged. And now you know what all's in there, so you know you can keep yours wrapped up if you wish until that fateful day that you decide to build it. So, subscribe if you would like. Hit that bell notification next to the subscription button and you will be the first to know whenever my next video comes out. Thanks for watching.